Let's talk about an S meter, a single strength meter. To understand S meter, we need to know what a decibel is. We're not going to use it as a unit of sound, but as a ratio. And for the most part, we use it a ratio of magnitude or a voltage. And it's the output voltage over the input or a reference value. So the formula is 20 times log base 10 of the output over the input or a reference value. Now the S meter is scaled from 1 to 9, and each division is 6 dB. So if you go from an S1 to an S2, you're up 6 dB. S2 to S3, you're up 6 dB. I wanted to show what 6 dB looks like on a scope, so I used an op amp and LM741. And in the data sheet, they show a closed loop, non-inverting configuration with a gain of 2, which would be perfect for us. Two rules for the amp are, are that no current flows through the, through the amp and that whatever voltage we put on uh, the positive wants to be on the negative here. So the current is going to flow through the resistors. It's going to be a voltage divider. So if we put one volt here, in order to get one volt here, we need two volts here. If we put two volts here, to get two volts here, we'll need four volts here because it's going to be going through this voltage divider. The up amp has a gain of 2, and to get that, we write the gain as AV, uh, voltage of the amplifier, and that's equal to 1 plus R2 divided by R1, and get, that gets us a gain of 2. Now for dB, you take 20 times log base 10 of 2. Log base 10 of 2 is 0.3 because 10 raised to the power of 0.3 is 2. That's how you check a log. And 0.3 times 20 is 66 dB. So if we have a gain of 2, we're up 6 dB. Now I put the circuit together, uh, dead bug style. Here it is here. I'll, I'll give you a close-up of that. The capacitor is from 5 to 2. It's a little unorthodox. 5 is an offset null, and 2 is the ground. Now let's look at the scope. The top trace is 1 volt peak to peak, 10 kilohertz. The bottom trace is 2 volts peak to peak, 10 kilohertz. I've got a gain of 2 and I'm up 6 dB. On the S meter chart, we see that an S1 is 0.2 microvolts, S2 is 0.4 microvolts, S3 is 0.8 and 1.6. Every time we go up one unit, we double the voltage, we go up 6 dB. Hams like to work with watts, and they know that voltage is equal to the square root of watts times ohms. So if we take a 100 watt transmitter and we put it into a 50 ohm load, 50 times 100 is 5,000. To get our voltage, we take the square root of the 5,000. Now I'm, I'm using the, my calculator to film the video, but in electronics, you memorize the square root of 2, 1.414. The reciprocal of that if you divide it into 1, it's 0.707, and that's the same as the square root of 1 half or 0.5. So for 5,000, we can massage the decimal around a little bit, and it'll be 70.7 volts. We'll use that as a reference value. Let's take the amp, and we'll crank it up to 400 watts. Now 400 times 50, that's 20,000. We know the square root of 2. To 1.414, that's going to be 141.4 volts. We just double our voltage. Our ratio is 2, log base 10 of 2 is 0.3 times 20, 6, 6 dB, we're up 6 dB, we're up 1 S unit. Let's go back down to 100 and go up to 200 watts. Well, 200 times 50, that's 10,000, square root of that's got to be 100, and we divide that by our 70.7, that's the square root of 2. If you take the reciprocal of the square root of 2 and divide it back into 1, you get the square root of 2, that's all we're doing. That's 1.414. Log base 10 of 1.414. It's the half of the 0.3, it's 0.15 times 20. That's 3 dB. We're up 3 dB, half an S unit. Let's go from 100 down to 50 watts. 50 times 50, well, the square root of that's got to be 50. And we divide that by our 70.7. That's going to be 0.707. Log base 10 of that's going to be minus 0.15 times 20. We're minus 3 dB, we're down 3 dB. Let's try it with 1,000 watts, 1K. 1,000 times 50, 50,000. Now this little trick's not going to work with 50,000. If you have an even number of zeros after the 5, you have to use an, another little trick. Uh, we know that the square root of 5 is 
2.23 and some change. So we need to use that 2.23 figure. So the square root of 50,000 is going to be 223. We divide that by our 70.7. .7. It goes in there, you know, three times, 3.16 times. Log base 10 of that is going to be 0 0.5 times 20. 10 dB will be up 10 dB. We like to give a single report. Uh, readability, single strength, and tone. Now the tone we use on CW, but usually we do uh, readability and, and single strength. We'll tell somebody that they're a, uh, you know, a 5.9. So readability is, is scaled from 1 to 5, and of course uh, single strength is, is scaled from 1 to 9, you know. So we can uh, just look at the S meter, but if you don't have one, uh, you know, you can you can guess at a nine is a very strong signal, eight strong, moderately strong for seven, six is good, five fairly good, and so on. So that's our RST code. So we usually give people a five nine if their signal is nice and strong. Thank you, and uh, 73s.